One of the things that can be a little annoying about Fruit of Loops at first when working with instanced copies of patterns is when you want to make a you know a slight uh, slight adjustment. So for instance, we've got this MIDI pattern here. Um, it's going along, and we want to create a just that last little bit. And we want it to be slightly different. Um, but using the playlist, it's it's really quite quick. If you just bring up your slice tool and click in the top here, we can make unique, and that'll automatically send it to its own pattern. Um, which of course we can make changes without adjusting, without adjusting the whole. Um, of course, if we were to do that to any one of these other patterns, that it would affect every single one of them. Um, another cool feature, uh, something to be aware of, is if you've made a whole whole pattern with a little variation at the end, but you don't want it as a series of separate patterns, is uh, simply merge pattern clips, and that'll make it as a single single pattern. Um, if you are of the old school with Fruit of Loops and you like the way that you used to have all the blocks, there is a there is a way of working with Fruit of Loops um, to do that. And if you uh, lock content um, here, um, and then so we made pattern three again, lock content pattern four, lock content. Uh, every time we draw a pattern on either one of these, it'll it'll just repeat that same one. I don't particularly like working that way myself, but it's a good feature to be aware of if you do.